I'm in the Ursa Live studio with Larry Connor, president and GM of Stone Creek Club and Spa. Larry, a pleasure to have you. Well, thank you. So tell us a little bit about your club. Uh, we're a resort style club in Covington, Louisiana. It's about 40 minutes from New Orleans. So we have a 52,000 square foot club with outdoor tennis courts and pools on about 25 acres. And um, it's a great atmosphere. It's just a resort style fitness center. And how long has this establishment been, been around? We opened in 2009. Okay. So I was hired to help design, finish the design, build out and operate the club. And I've been doing that ever since. Um, in almost 10 years now. So how did you get into the fitness industry, Larry? You know, I was very fortunate. I, I'm an accountant. I'll go ahead and say that now. I'm a CPA. Uh, so accounting was uh, what my education was. But when I was growing up and working to work my way through high school and college, it was in the hospitality industry, in the hotel business. Loved the service side. Thought accounting desk would be great. But I quickly learned that I didn't want to sit behind a desk for long. I worked out all the time. I love working out. And I got the opportunity to become a CFO of a health club in New Orleans, a very large one. I was there 13 years and that started it all off. Now, New Orleans is notoriously known for Mardi Gras and being like a party town. So how is it that your club <coughs> has entrenched itself into that kind of community? Uh, we have two bars on site in our health club. So <laughs> we serve food and beverages. That's we, great. Yeah, it, it is. It's we definitely actually, a high-end <coughs> club. Yeah, we have a tower bar we call it. It's right by the swimming pool. So That's great. It's, yeah, we bring it all in. So uh, is it a family environment? It is, it, it is. Now kids can't drink, but anyway, it is, it is a family environment. We're not, we're not obnoxious with our bar and, and anything we do, but we have a great Pebble Creek is what we call it, um, childcare area, but it's a, it's a full fitness type of activities for the kids and fun ways. So as president, what are you hoping to, to gain from your experience here at Ursa 2017? Oh, there's always something to learn. I, I've been coming, <clears throat> I guess now for about 23, 24 years to Ursa, and I'm, I get extremely excited about coming to the show. But what's important is before I used to just come to the show, I would forget about Ursa all year long, then I get excited about coming back and come to the show. Now I realize it's all about the networking and working with the other professionals. You meet them from all over the world here in a great venue, but you need to stay in touch along the way with the Ursa team, who was an incredible team but also all the operators that you meet from around the world. And how do you feel <laughs> that even though your business is located in the United States, how do you feel having that global approach here helps you build your business here? There's always something to learn from somebody. <laughs> and you know, you always think you have all the answers yeah. and you don't and different environments and different cultures do things a little different differently. I use that word a lot, but anyway, put it all together and you can come up with some fantastic programs to run in your area that will be once again, different than what's around you, Absolutely. but someone else has done it somewhere else. So Larry, you get to honor the Ursa community this year as being a speaker again. Yeah. Um, is there any tidbit of information you could give us if somebody's actually missing your event, what you could tell them that, that they might be missing that might be heart of gold? In my talk? In your talk. Oh, my talk. Well, in my talk, <clears throat> I'm talking about accounting. Um, in our industry, we're full of fitness professionals, Absolutely. people that are on the science side of the, of, of the business. Um, but I come to find out a lot don't know about the business side. And you've got to have both sides. You've got to put it all together. So I'm here to teach them the basics in accounting, how to read a financial statement, how to dig down and get the information that feeds up to the financial statement. Don't let the accounting departments tell you they can't give you that number. Absolutely. They can in great detail, and I'm here to show them how to get it. I love how you have such a unique perspective on the health and fitness industry. So from your point of view, from accounting, what kind of innovative methods do you guys have to bring about here in Ursa 2017? On the accounting side? Uh-huh. Ah, well, I don't know if there's much innovation on the accounting <laughs> side, but I'm gonna at least tell you how to how to figure it all out. So, oh. you know, the, the main thing is in, a, in the financial world, you have financial statements that everybody reads and you look at those, but those numbers come from a lot of transactions on the back end. And I'm just here to show them how to get to those transactions on the back end. And then to put it into a way, we, we have all this data, we have all this information. People love to do spreadsheet after spreadsheet on everything we do in the business, Absolutely. but it's gotta be useful. If it's not useful, it's a waste of time. <clears throat> and so. in, your, in your career and in URSA, we are all about scientific data and mm -hmm. information. So with all of this information and data, where do you hope to take your club in the future? 
be more efficient and more effective. Uh, if you know the numbers, you know your business, you can put the two together and run a very um, effective and efficient operation. That's what it's all about. And you can deliver the service um, to your customers that they want and deserve. Um, and you can do it in a way that makes financial sense. Absolutely. So you, you got to know it all. And I tell you, URSA provides the resources for that with the profiles of success that come out every year. You see the best kept secrets out there in our industry by the numbers and, and what other operators are doing. They have the accounting books and all. They have all this available. You just got to ask them for it. So technology obviously plays a vital role. Has social media played any uh, role in your success? Yeah, I did my first Instagram yesterday. But <laughs> I've been on Instagram, I just never had never done it. I have, I have other people that are much better at it than me. <laughs> and I just share and like. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it's important. It's really important in our industry to be connected. Absolutely. And not only your club has the four walls, but we got a community out there around our clubs. They need to know more about what you're doing. And even if you can't bring them in as a member, bring them into what we do. And maybe Absolutely. it'll make them better out there. I think the most important message that you bring around here is that this is about a community effort. It is. And I see you wearing a tag called hashtag PassFit. Yes. What does that stand for? Person, personal health investment today. Okay. So basically, um, it is important now for us to contact our representatives and senators. The time to pass this act is now. It's been around for a while trying to get passed, but this is actually the greatest opportunity we have. Um, healthcare costs are rising. Everything associated with healthcare um, is always being played in the political circles, and they're always considering it. But it's, it's time that the preventative stuff, the stuff we do, the stuff you do through athletic events and runs and all that, people need to get a break for investing in their health, and that's what this is about. You will get tax breaks for that. All levels, it's not an itemized deduction on your income statement. It is through health savings accounts that anybody can get on, flexible spending accounts, and therefore it's, it's before taxes. And for club owners that don't <coughs> really know about the, the, the FIT initiative, how do you think that that's gonna benefit club owners and gym owners and, and members of the industry? Well, I just, I just sent it out to my members Monday. Okay. I sent all the URSA resources, and they have a lot of resources on this. You don't have to make it up yourself. We'll be happy to share all the information. They even give you who to connect to in your state and everything. So it's so easy. Just get on the URSA website and get that information. But, um, you know, basically what people do, and when I sent this out to my members, what happened is somebody sent it back to me, and I, I got a lot of back and forth information. They were so excited to get this. They want to take that and, and move it in the next direction. But somebody said, well, Larry, okay, in an indirect way, you just got me to spend more money in your club because I wasn't doing training before, but now if this passes, I'll be able to use the dollars I'm saving and actually start doing personal training. And yes, it makes more money for the club, but we're going to benefit people through this. They're Absolutely. going to do something that's going to benefit everyone out there. Well, it's obvious <clears throat> that Stone Creek Club and Spa is under some serious awesome leadership. So how can people find out more about your business? I guess go to my website, but uh, yeah, stonecreekclubandspa.com. Um, you know, it, we're in a network of great professionals and, and we do some things over there a little bit different, um, but you can learn from everybody. So just dig down and look at all these clubs and talk to people in the, at URSA and find out more about it. There you go. Larry Connor, URSA veteran here at the URSA Live Studio. Thanks, Larry. Thank I you. It. You're welcome.